One of the many, many contentious issues in the Kyle Rittenhouse case is that the judge has decided not to sequester the jury. Meaning that when the jurors are done deliberating for the day, they just go home. Now they promise that they won't talk to anyone or watch any media related to the case. But come on, it's 2021 and we're all addicted to our phones and laptops. In other high profile cases, the jury is sometimes sequestered, which means instead of going home, they sleep in a government funded hotel room. And in extreme cases, their cell phones are taken away and TVs are removed from their hotel rooms. Phone calls can only be made with a bailiff present to ensure that nothing about the case is being discussed. A lot of judges don't like sequestering juries because for one thing, it sucks. It takes a huge psychological toll on them being away from friends and family and all outside contact. The longest jury sequestration actually happened in the O.J. Simpson case. There they were sequestered for 256 days. It actually cost more than $2 million to keep the jury housed, fed, and protected. 